Alright guys, back. Ancient Rex is at just over 100,000 health. And stuff that I thought of, yeah, because this guy has better melee damage and can have a higher melee damage ceiling than the other one. That means it could, like, soak up more health from, from the melee damage, you know? Like, right now it's gaining basically 14, or, godly. It's, oh gosh, another zombie Rex just fell out of the sky right there, like, heckin, uh, just Santa Claus just dropping it down, saying, hey, here's another one, Merry Christmas, early Christmas, sheesh. Hold on, what level? Level 756, are you kidding me? I could tame another one right now if I wanted. I'm going to kill it, though, just to get more levels. Wait, what? The Conflagrant Rex actually did get tamed to me. But I guess it died already from a heckin' random Gigantosaurus. Whoops, <laughs> forgot about that thing. Oopsie doopsie, I didn't get a level 400. Uh, what is a level 400, right? Let me get a level 800 data. <laughs> Anyways, what? That's it? We didn't get any, like, hardcore level. Well, then again, yeah, remember, the higher level you are, like the exponentially more XP you need to get to level up. So yeah, not too surprised we got only a level. And that was a relatively low level ancient Rex at level 28. But then again that, that zombie Rex was level 728 something, right? So yeah, that sucks, but whatever. More melee damage right there. So hopefully uh, we're going to, we, we gain back like what, 7,000 health every time we hit something. Now we're going to be gaining back like maybe 7,200, maybe 7,500 health every time we hit something. So that's going to be amazing. Golly. Anyways, I guess we try and find that conflagrant Rex. I'm like, I don't even really need it too bad. I have a heckin' really good Rex right now, like, golly. Oh, God. I thought something, like, hardcore spawned in right there, but nope. <laughs> I think we're fine still. Did that conflagrant Rex make its way down here? I think it did. Is that it right there? That's just a regular Rex. Level 532, I can kill, like, right now if I wanted to, you know? <laughs> but, oh, God, ancient turkey over there. Mm, maybe I'll be able to take on an ancient turkey finally. Confidently, that is. I probably could have taken it on with my other critter, with my uh, my other zombie Rex, but honestly, I'm, I'd be a lot more comfortable with this one. Has the basically same health, but of course better damage output, so I'll be able to kill a little bit faster. I'll, I'll definitely be a lot more comfortable taking on an ancient turkey, because those, those things have as much health as an ancient Rex. It might be able to take, like, gnashed damage, you know, damage over time, 5% of its health over, like, 5 seconds or whatever. I forget the specifics, but... Oh, there's a Xerxes or a zombie. Yeah, this is definitely some sort of, like, grave forest or something like that. I don't know what's going on here. With all the heckin' uh, zombie creatures that are over here, it's kind of crazy, but I'm not complaining. Oh, yeah, random regular Therizinosaur attacked me for some strange reason. What's that thing over there? Oh, zombie Therizinosaurs. I guess I can kill those. Sure, why not? Give me some more of those brains, Ada. Let me kill these zombie Therizinosaurs. High level, too, so hopefully getting some good XP. And I should level up here in just a bit. There we go, level up. Noise. Let's give it some more heckin' melee damage, because we're doing... 14,182, now we're doing 14,000, how much? 14,383, nice. So it went up a little bit right there, but nothing too crazy. But uh, speaking of crazy, let's try and find a heckin' crazy good... Uh, oh god, what's that? Oh, it's just an owl's horse, it's just a red one. Crazy good, uh, what do you call it? Ankylo. I don't know why I couldn't think of it right there. Let me find a crazy good zombie Ankylo, I mean. <laughs> Not just a regular Ankylo, but a heckin' zombie one that's hopefully high levels, butt cheeks, and has a really good... Like that one that we tamed had 2,000% melee damage already. I can only imagine how much metal it gets from a heckin' mineral-rich rock. Like, oh my gosh. And of course, all those levels we can give it, uh, it, it did kill... I forget what it killed. It killed the Quetzal, didn't it? Yeah, I think so. So, we, oh gosh, what's that one? What's it with all this water? What is... Oh, was that one? Is that an elemental creature? Oh, it's a glacial, though. Man. If it was, if it was a, uh, an ice, I would have taken it. I would have tamed that bad boy. Egg! I am taking that egg. We need a dinosaur egg to make, uh, what do you, oh, this is a Diplodocus egg. No matter what I do. We need a dinosaur egg in general to make a toxic kibble to tame toxic creatures and work our way up that ladder I talked about. So definitely want to take eggs if we find them. What's that? Oh, zombie, uh, raptor right there. Hey, killed you. Level 74 garbage. Get out of here. Oh, I have a level up for myself. Hey, Iguanodon over here. I don't even... completely forgot about that, you guys. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I get Titanium Murmur Soldiers. Get out of here, garbage. What about this one? Uh, level 84. I'm like, it doesn't even matter what level it is. Uh, I just need a way to convert berries to seeds. So... I guess we can tame this guy. 33 me. What? Are you really attacking me, Iguanodon? You really want... Oh, it's a tur... Oh, yeah, we are there. We have a uh, Thanksgiving right around the corner, so we have actual, like, vanilla turkeys around the map right now. Oh, wait, no, this one's a really... Yeah, that's a, that is not a vanilla turkey. That is a level 74 turkey. But these things usually drop good loot, right? Like a regular turkey. Oh, God, I've been poisoned? Oh, yeah, Titanium Armor Trash. Okay. Don't they drop loot? Like, they're basically loot boxes? Oh, God, I picked up a lot of stuff. 
Uh, oh yeah, because we killed like a bunch of trash, didn't we? Yeah, sheesh. <laughs> oh, what is that thing? Hold on. We picked up an ancient, uh, or a, uh, an alpha. Yeah, we picked up a ramshackle alpha flag helmet right there. 233 metal ink is not too bad, but yeah, like, like you guys said, might want to use like armor plus instead. That might be a better deal, honestly. Over here looks like they're heckin' vultures picking out my heckin' dead and flagrant wreck, so uh, let me pick out his dead body and get myself some gunpowder? Really? That's pretty good, not bad. What is this that I'm killing? Oh, the Troodons over here, okay. Trudon, Troodon, whatever it is. Who knows? Anyways, ah, I'm not seeing an anklo right now, unfortunately. Let's see, can flagrant- Ah, a little bit of prime meat was still in his inventory when he died, so I guess he had his favorite meal in his tummy, or at least one of his favorite meals. Because of course he likes lamb a little bit better than, uh, than that, right? Oh, is that another conflagrant Rex? Yeah, it is. Level 784. Hey, I guess I could tame you, mad boy. Get over here. Oh, God. How's my armor doing, though? I think it'd hold up. I think so. Let's get a little bit more stamina so it's a nice round 200. Even though I'm not really having, like, stamina pro. Oh, it's dead. Wait, no, it's not. I thought it died right there. It's almost dead, though. Oh, my God. What is it even fighting? Oh, it's, a, it's fighting a conflagrant dodickers, and it died for... No, it's a primal terror bird. Primal terror bird. It died of a primal what? Where is it? There's a primal terror bird right there. It's dead. And I got some primal meat, primal hide, rare mushrooms, rare flowers, I think. Nice. And of course, Zombie Rex got some levels. A level. <laughs> of course, go and do melee damage there. Don't mind if I do. And of course, I, I wonder if I could... I don't think I could give creatures mind wipe tonics. I think they changed that, didn't they? I wonder if any of these mods I have installed give you, like, a, a dinosaur version of a mind wipe tonic where you can basically reset their stats and... and, and respect them to whatever you want them to be, you know? That way I can give them all melee damage instead of doing that extra bit I did to health. Let's do, a, let's do another Glacier Gigantosaurus. This one's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. 126 damage, that's nothing. I think, but yeah, 126 damage from his little Glacial Effect, but 600 damage from his melee. Yeah, that is nothing. I'm, I'm gaining back 7,250-ish health every time I attack you, so that is nothing. I'm going to get the Killing Blow right now. Boom, killed ya. And got some XP, and got a little bit of stuff from harvesting your dead flesh. Two level ups right there, nice. All right, are we going to hit 15,000 before we get level capped? Oh, I think we got level capped. Yeah, we got level capped right there, you guys. Man, we got level capped at what, 1246? At 8,326.3 melee, percent melee damage. Oh my gosh. How much we do now, though? Just under 15,000, are you kidding me? Ugh, man, that sucks. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. So close, yet so far away. Oh, that Pulmonal Scorpius right there, nice. All right, well, that, that kind of sucks. I guess we could just go back to the base right quick. Go drop off some of the stuff that we have in the, uh, the crab pods. I think we should still have an empty crab pod. Yeah, we still have an empty crab pod. Let's go grab some of the Mio berries that we have. Oh my gosh. Oh, is that an egg? If that's an egg, our... Oh, it's too far away from the, uh, from the egg picker-upper thing. <laughs> is that a Brachio egg? It is. I'm picking it up. I don't care. I don't care. I'm t I just picked it up. Fight me at packs, Ada. I'll kill you. Oh, he's attacking our thing over there. Did he destroy it? He did! What a piece of garbage! He destroyed our automatic poop collector! Oh my god! All that for an egg. What is that thing? Apex Allosaurus. Yeah, that thing's going down. I need your heckin' Apex stuff. Oh god, let me get his- There you go. Apex hide and blood. I'll take all that. Oh, zo oh this is a zombie titanosaur. I forgot about that. Whoops. Yeah, we should be able to kill this thing pretty easily, but every time it does attack, it's a thousand damage. But of course, you guys already know. I'm healing up basically 7,500 heckin' points every time I attack. So yeah, I'm, I'm negating everything it does to me, like, instantly. <laughs> of course, the Nash is doing the most of the, the brunt of the damage right there with this 5% over 5 seconds right there, you know? So we should be able to take this guy down pretty quickly if we just continue to attack him. Unfortunately, we're not going to get any level ups from because we, of course, already hit the level cap, but whatever. You can't really do anything about that, but <laughs> it's kind of crazy how fast we hit the level cap with this guy, you guys. It's insane. <laughs> Alright, well, at least this zombie titanosaur is going to go down, so sooner or later, this thing probably would have aggroed us and destroyed our heckin' base, so better to do it when it's away from our base than him destroying our own heckin' base, and then we have to start from scratch again, right? So, and we actually got the killing blow right there. Nice. Got some rare flowers, some paste, randomly, and some brains, so that's pretty cool. All right, well, we're going to need to make another one of those poop collector things, so... Oh, God, we got Pugnation Tranker randomly right there. That's kind of crazy. Anyways, I uh, might want to go re-knock out those creatures over there. Not that one, but, uh... Yeah, not that one either. Oh, my gosh. Those are still very, very much knocked out. I don't think we need to worry about that for a while. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Oh, oh, he's still set to fall, so... Hey, you can stop. Let's give you the cryopods. So, boom, boom, boom. There you go. Noise. And what was I doing? Oh yeah, the poop collector thing, so let's go to, uh, AA, oh, why am I doing that? We need to go to the heckin' AA crafting thing. So let's go to, where is it? This one right here, yep, compost bin, so 
Uh, I need more thatch, you kidding me? Oh, I have thatch in my inventory, right? No, I don't. Oh, it dropped a bag. And I think it might add poop inside of it, so let's go grab it. It had poop, maybe even some fertilizer. Oh yeah, if it had fertilizer, it went to the... Oh, the silo. Okay, I see the silo is still over there. That's good. But yeah, there's a bag over here with a bunch of poop and one fertilizer in. I guess that fertilizer didn't make it to the silo, so that sucks. We have 38 medium, 16 large feces. Oh my gosh. That is a ton, you guys. Oh my gosh. I want to check up on the uh, the silo, though. Oh. Well, yeah. Let me, let me feces. Let me, let me give you all the feces so I'm not over encumbered. So, yeah. Take care of that. I don't care. Let me, let me check up on the silo. Does it have any... Yeah, it doesn't have any. So any 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 fertilizer it has should have gone straight to the uh, straight to the crop lots over here, right? So let's check if there are any fertilizer. Not fertilized, really? Huh? That sucks. I guess we only had a fertilizer from that thing from all the time of it, uh, like composting all the heck and poo, right? So that that sucks. Let's grab all the large animal feces first because those are the heaviest and of course the most effective, and use those to fertilize our plants over here. So. Boom, deposit large animal feces. Boom, boom, boom. Gonna be pooping in all of you. <laughs> and there you go. They all have at least one large animal feces, so that's great. Let's do another large animal feces. Keep these things nice and fertilized. So they have uh, 30,000 fertilizer each, so that's awesome. And I think what I could do now is... What happened to my uh, S plus item thing? Oh god, random trike attacking us right there. What in the world? Or Styracosaurus? That's kind of dumb. <laughs> Just attacked us. Oh god lag! Okay, we're back. <laughs> Just kind of attacking us with a heckin' death wish. Might as well kill this trike preemptively. Boom, you're dead. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Yeah, I don't know what happened to my uh, my transfer gun. It's like gone. Oh, did I transfer it to this guy's? Wait, Tori accidentally? Hold on. Oh, I did. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, this this transfer gun. Definitely want to do this transfer gun right now. So let's dismount. Let's use the transfer gun. Boom, there you go. So let's let's do this. Select the zombie rex as the inventory to take from. Let's do uh, feces. Yep large and medium animal feces take all the large and medium animal feces from the zombie rex and put it in the large crop plots and evenly distribute it too so boom there you go 38 large or uh, medium animal feces transferred right there lag spike city okay we're back <laughs> all right let's go check how many do, does each one have i'm like we could just do the math right but uh looks like two two or three yeah two to three in each one not too bad nice noise 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 so now we just need to make that thing again and place it down within range of this. So might as well get this one's uh, range kind of showing so we can see. So let's do fill range. There we go. That way we can see what the uh, outermost edge that we can place that on. So let's do that. And we should be able to make it now, right? Uh, yep, let's put the thatch over there because we were missing thatch earlier. So let's grab that. Boom, there we go. Craft that bad boy. And I guess we'll grab the thatch back. And there we go. And let's go place that bad boy back down. Get that back up and running because... Man, that, that produces a ton of poo. It's kind of crazy. Let's place it down inside of here like so. That's good. And let's place the thatch inside there. And it should be able to combine that thatch with any poo that it randomly picks up now. So, uh, oh yeah, I think, yeah, my, my, my Rex does uh, actually poo. I think he pooed earlier, so I guess that kind of myth busted. I think I was wondering, like, whether or not he even did that earlier, so that answers my question, right? But the height fill range, yeah, let's get rid of that for right now. We have two eggs in our inventory right now. I think we need two regular eggs to make a toxic uh, kibble, right? Uh, no, just one regular dinosaur egg, it seems. Spoiled meat, fiber, narcoberries, and rock roots. Yeah, I definitely want to expand that, uh, that farm out over there with, you know, vegetables and stuff like that. But, uh, also, need to go tame the heckin' iguanodon. I need to get some, uh, some meal berries from over here. Oh, does this have any eggs randomly? It does not, so that's the- Oh, God! What in the world was that? I have no idea what just happened right there. I just got hit? By s that thing? I'm like, my Rex is defending me, so that's great. I have no idea why it went all the way over there and just killed whatever that was, that Diplodocus or whatever that was. That was crazy. It must have been the defense unit. It must have been Pew Pewing. That must be what it was, yeah. I think, oh, that one's not Pew Pewing. I think that one's a melee one. Huh, very strange. Well, at least it was, this one was defending me, so that's great. I have no idea what even hit me in the first place, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's get a little bit of water because I'm thirsting over here and I think my canteen's empty as well. So there you go, that's good. Never sit this guy to passive because, of course, he's a fresh, fresh team. So, of course, he's going to defend me. He's, like, aggressive or whatever, right? But uh, let's put up the eggs, the two eggs that we do have. Let's put them up over here until we're actually able to make those toxic kibbles. And I don't know how many I need to uh, to feel comfortable to tame a, a toxic creature that lays eggs. Speaking of toxic creatures, what toxic creatures lay eggs? Let me look at this list. Dire bears, no. Megalodon, no. Raptor, yes. So, they're toxic raptors. Just need to go find those. Ravagers, I don't, I don't think so. 
Direwolf, no. Sabertooth, Tooth, no. Terrorbird, yes. Stigmolic, I think so. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Toad, so I guess Beelzebuffos. Turtles, so whatever the turtle was, I forgot its name. Dodos, of course, yeah, those, those lay eggs as well. I don't know if the turtle or the uh, toads do, do. I think so, maybe. Zombie Dodo, maybe that lays eggs. I have no idea. Parasaur, that definitely does. Dilicolio, I don't think so. Tarantula, probably. I assume that's just an Aranio. But it does seem like there's a pretty fair bit of uh, different, like, toxic creatures we can tame that do lay toxic eggs. Uh, it's for us to make the elemental uh, kibble with, the tame an elemental with, you know? So, seems like we should have that covered here somewhat soon. We're slowly working towards it, you know? But for right now, let's head inside here, let's grab some Miho berries. We have literally 2,700. Yeah, my inventory is full to the brim. I need to, I need to get rid of this stuff. Let me get rid of this thing, though. Oh, gosh. I think there's a scout nearby. Uh, let me get rid of this thing for right now, because I do not have this set up at all, so I don't want this thing accidentally pulling all the all the, all the the items from my whole entire base into there just yet. So let me just put that over there, and then let me actually manually sort all my stuff over here, like yeah, the blood. Let's go put that in the fridge. Let's go put all the all the perishable stuff. Blood. Uh, brains don't perish. Corrupted nodules, I assume that is supported over here, so just like... Uh, was that called again? Organic Palmer? It's because it's basically Organic Palmer. You could use it in Organic Palmer crafting things. Yep. Spoil time, one day. So that's awesome. I wonder if my Zombie tr uh, zombie Rex, not Zombie Trike. I don't know if those exist. But uh, Zombie Rex over here, I don't know if he has any. Oh yeah, more uh, Corrupted Nodules there. Uh, more Apex Blood there. Speaking of Apex, Apex Hide and Primal Hide. Rare Mushrooms. And of course, raw Prime Meat and regular raw Meat. I think those are the only thing that, uh, that perished there. So that's not too bad, honestly. Let's go put them up over here in the uh, the AA fridge to make them last longer. So there you go, Apex Blood. Speaking of Apex Blood, Blood and Apex Hide, I do need to see how, uh, what do we need to repair our armor? Two Apex Blood, and we have a lot of Apex Hide in our inventory already. I definitely need to get the pants upgrade, you guys. Durability is 2600 durability compared to everything else. That's 5300, 6800, uh, 5100, and 7200. Yeah, I definitely need to do some durability reagents, you guys just to make this thing uh, last longer and not have to repair it quite as often. But of course it does require a lot of metal. So let's try and make like five of those if I can. Uh, yeah, I could do five right there. Nice, that's awesome. So let's do, let's repair this up to full durability. No, I don't think, I don't think it works that way. I don't think if it's full durability and then we do the durability reagents, it stays full durability. I think it'll still scale upwards. So I guess we might as well just kind of apply these to the pants, augment the item and uh, oh, uh, armor reagent. Wait, what? Why is it doing the armor reagent? Yeah, let me get the armor uh, reagent down there. I don't know why it's trying to do that. Durability. Oh, this is weapon durability. Whoops. Yeah, there's weapon durability and armor durability right there. Okay, armor durability. That's way cheaper. Yeah. Holy heck. I guess if I want to make my uh, my sword, or I don't even have, I literally don't have a sword. <laughs> if I want to make any guns or any weapons more durable, then yeah, I definitely want to use that. But uh, for this one, armor durability. Yeah, let's put that there. Then apply augment. There you go. So now it's up to 32, 37 durability, 36, 51, 44, 24, 49, 05. I might just, uh, just because of how cheap it is, I might just max out all of my armor on durability, you guys. Just so it's a really, really durable set of armor that I'm probably never going to have to repair ever again. 7,200 durability maxed out right there. So that, that seems pretty good. Uh, five durability reagents left over. And of course, it has 382 uses out of 7200. Definitely want to repair it right now, you guys. Oh, is that a toxic? Man, that's just a regular Ekis. Ah, if that was a toxic... Well, then again, we only have the right stuff to tame one, right? Golly. Anyways, let's go over to the... Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. I forgot that I wanted to uh, I wanted to salvage the Mastercraft flag helmet and, of course, the Ramshackle Direwolf saddle. So I'm kind of curious how much metal we, we're going to get out of those. Uh, so 105 metal there already. 117. Really? That's it? I thought I would've got way more from a Mastercraft flak helmet, but whatever. <laughs> I guess I had my hopes up a little bit there, huh? But let's go over to, what is it? What do I need to repair this at? Primal Smithy, okay, yep, just like I thought. So let's head over here, go throw all of our armor down, just kind of repair it all if I can, as well as grab some uh, Apex blood, that's Alpha blood. I'm sure it'll uh, pull that over here if it needs any, but let's try and repair the pants first. So boom, and repair, there we go. Full durability, nice. Let's put those bad boys on. And yeah, while we're kind of repairing and upping the durability, let's let's continue upping. Oh gosh, I can't move. Inventory too heavy. What? Why? Oh yeah, I don't have the backpack on. Yeah, so let's put that on. That ups my uh, that ups my carry weight. I forgot about that. Yeah, sheesh. Let's make a lot of those armor uh, durability reagents. Let's make like 
I don't know, 25 more of those. That sounds like a really good number. So let's try and up the durability of everything. So I'm kind of curious what the gauntlets are going to max out at. Or, yeah, the gauntlets. Because they're journeymen, so they're two steps, I think, above the ramshack over here. So I wonder what they're going to max out. If ramshack maxes out at 7,600 or 7,200 durability, this one, I wouldn't be too surprised if it maxed out at, like, 12,000 durability, you guys. Like, holy <laughs> egg. All right, well, speaking of such, let's just continue adding these durability. Oh, whoops. Can't go any higher? At 13,200. I was close. I said 12,000, and it maxed out at 13,200. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's so much durability right there. All right, well, let's get the others up here, to. Oh, man, the boots already maxed out. Yeah, they're already pretty high. So let's get the helmet. Oh yeah, the helmet's already passed it, so yeah, 7200 is the cap, and the helmet's already passed it at 7292, because it, it was already like that, or maybe we upgraded it to be like that? I don't remember. Anyways, now we need to repair them over here, so let's grab those bad boys. Am I wearing the... Yep, I'm wearing the... Uh, oh, I never... Yeah, I never got the uh, the, the chest piece upgrade, because I had it on, because I had the backpack, so let's get the chest piece durability up as well, so boom, let's get up to 7200, and then try and repair them all... So they're all nice and full durability. Hopefully we have enough Apex blood to repair everything. So let's start out with whatever has the most uh, armor ratings. So that would be the gauntlets. Let's try and repair that first. So let's pull resources. Boom, we have enough. Repair. There we go. Nice. Let's do the chest piece next. Boom, we have enough. Nice. Repair. Let's do the feet next. The, the boots. So pull. Boom. Nice. We have enough. Yeah, it only requires a couple drops of literal drops of blood repair these so that's awesome so there we go everything full durability now nice all right i do wonder if we're able to even improve them anymore can we what do we need if i wanted to make let's do the helmet if i wanted to make the helmet uh, a higher level what do i need four apex blood and 59 hide Pfft, i'm sure we've got that you guys let's go check the fridge how much apex blood do i have over here uh probably not anymore is it in my inventory or is it over here? I think we, like, don't have any Apex blood at all, you guys. I think we literally used up every drop. Yeah, that's Alpha blood right there. There's no Apex blood. Apex blood, I think, is slightly darker. And I'm not seeing it over here, you guys. Uh, whoops. Or, oh, did I leave it in this? Is it in the preserving bin randomly? No, it's not. There's literally nothing in there, so. Yeah, I don't think we have any over here, you guys. Yeah, the only Apex stuff we have is an Apex egg, and, of course, the Apex Indominus egg. Fertilized noise. But, yeah. We're not able to improve that yet. <laughs> We do have enough Apex hide for it, because we have hundreds, if not thousands, of Apex hide over here, right? Yeah, 1670 right there, so don't need to worry about that at all, but... Uh, I might as well put the Primal hide over there, just because I'm like, if I have anything Primal I want to upgrade or repair, then hey, there you go, Primal hide. But, uh, didn't I say I was going to pause? Or something like that? I thought I was, but, uh... Oh yeah, I thought I was going to go Tamed Iguanodon. Yeah, let, oh yeah, let, let me just pause. I, th I thought I was I, I thought I was going to pause a little while ago to like empty out my inventory and stuff, but I got so distracted, improved my weapons and armor and all that kind of stuff. Well, I didn't even touch my. I don't know why I said weapons, <laughs> but uh, improving my armor, up into durability, repairing them and all that kind of stuff. I got really distracted there, you guys. Like holy heck. Let me actually pause and organize my inventory, empty it out of it, and I'll see you guys here in a bit, where we're hopefully going to finally tame a heck an iguana on. That way we can turn a bunch of berries into uh, the seed versions of them and use that to make more tame helpers as well as kibbles if any of those require seeds and stuff like that, you know. So go to pause the recording and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I am back. Uh, I cleaned out my inventory. I was looking for another, uh, oh gosh, they're right there. I was looking for an iguanodon. Didn't find one. I came back to the base after getting some more thatch for the poop thing and found even more Alpha Indominus Rexes. Okay, of course, they spawn in pairs, so I guess we're going to have to, uh... I guess the white one's the male, or the female, so we're going to have to attack her. Kind of want to see. I'm like, that one, I'm like, it is lower level. Has only 600,000 health. There we go, just kill some Allosaurus right there. Of course, this is our new, uh, Zombie Rex as well, so that's going to be great. There is literally nothing but numbers on my screen right now, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm not seeing any eggs, though. I'm not seeing any eggs, but I, not even really that big of a deal if I don't see any eggs, honestly, you know? Uh, all I really- oh, and there's another, uh, Zombie Rex right there. I think it might be, like, basically the same level, like, seven-something, you know? But, it, I don't know. I, I might have to- I might have to take her down to, like, within 10% of her health. Because remember last time, we, like, attacked her, like, once? And then she, like, laid an egg instantly. So... There you go. One of them's dead. Wait, no, no, no. That was a different- whoa, that was the Zombie Rex, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought- I thought we just killed one of the Indominuses, but not yet, not yet. I guess if we could try and take the female down to 10% health, which would be like 60k, which will be pretty hard with the Nash little little thing and us doing like, what, 14,000, almost 15,000 damage per hit? Well, right now we're doing like 8,000 or so. She's down to 6, 
she's under uh, 10% right now though, so gotta watch out. See if she lays an egg like in an emergency like situation or whatever. <gasps> she did! She did add an, uh, uh, an, another one. An alpha egg. Or apex egg. We need those apex eggs. We need those, uh... They're still down there though. I need to grab those eggs, but thankfully that time it seemed like it worked. So that's good. God, I'm trying to get them like stuck on the on the ledge so I can go grab those eggs, you know? See if I can uh, lure them over here though. That might be pretty good because those eggs do not despawn for quite a while. And I got oh, there's a gotcha back there. And I got some comments from you guys saying, hey, you know that egg collector like device? Oh gosh, what is that? Oh, it's just a regular Deinonychus right there. Oh wait, hold on. That's one of the creatures we want, right? That's one of the uh, that's one of the new creatures in uh in, in Valgaro. We definitely want to get one of those guys sometime soon, hopefully. Anyways, friend up. God oh, man, there it is again. See, I want to be able to pick up the egg without dying, but it is roaring right now, so could use that opportunity. Oh, it's spawning. Yeah, it spawns in minions when it roars like that. Yeah, so it would have been really risky for me to dismount right there, try and grab the eggs and get in and get out. But uh, see if I can lure them over here. That way, you know, they're somewhat far away from the eggs. Maybe they can get trapped on the on the terrain. Well, here it is right here. Here's the black one. I think that's the male. I want to see if we can get the female over here, too. I just don't know where she is. But we are able to soak a lot of damage. It don't really matter too much. I could, I could regen pretty easily just by attacking, like, a time, right? <laughs> there we go. I could regen all the, all the damage back. Or all the health back. Let's just kind of climb around, try and see if we can get it trapped on the terrain. And then, of course, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it is trapped or anything like that. But I'm just going to make a run for it. I think we might be clear right now. I think we might be clear. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's grab both eggs, Apex, Apex egg and the uh, Indomitus fertilized egg. And we just grab both of them. That's great. Another, another ancient Rex. I'm like, I'm not really complaining, but like, golly, there's so many of these ancient Rexes all over the place. It's another level 28. What if the first time, what if all the ones that we've fought were level 28? That might be a thing for them to just always be level 28. Is that, a, this is another one. It is! It's a level 28 too! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that's a dead gotcha right there. Oh man, it was like producing crystals and everything. I wonder if we're going to have gotcha claws again this year. That's going to be fun if so. Anyways, I'm going to try and make it back to the base, but I don't want these guys to be aggroed on me to where I like lead them back to the base. And of course, it's going to be super duper dangerous. They'll be able to heck and destroy our base. So I might have to go a long way around and uh, try and go this away. Maybe through like the dead forest or what? Oh god, we're like, <laughs> we're going flying. <laughs> Thankfully, we take like no damage. Oh, well, we took some right there for fall damage, but I'll be able to heal that up pretty quickly just by attacking stuff, right? Like this random, uh, whatever this thing is right here, Alice Horse. Kill some Trovodons too. Trudons, Trovodons. I do need to tame those Dinotikai. Oh gosh, what is that? Oh, I think that's the Conflagrant Rex. I think that's the Conflagrant 812. Level 812. That's got to be the uh, Conflagrant Rex that we're looking for, but we lost. Perhaps. Oh gosh, we lured that Indominus all the way over here. Oh no, you better get away from that conflagrant Rex. You get, you better get away from that conflagrant Rex, because that thing is going to be mine and I I will defend, I will kill these Indominuses if I need to. Because of course we do still have the other, uh, other, other couple over there, and of course we can just lay down the egg, like, like pick her up or doohickey, <laughs> and just pick up all the eggs from them, no problemo. Now I just need to see if, is she killing that conflagrant Rex? Cause I don't see her. The white one? The Indominus that actually looks like an Indominus? I think I think she is. No, she's just sitting right, right there randomly. Although I'm I, I, Wait, this is Oh, this is Alpha. Okay, that ex I didn't even notice that, you guys. These are Alpha Indominus Rexes, not Apex. The ones the egg that we have is Apex. So I assume this Alpha Indominus Rex, all we need is just Alpha Kibbles. And what do we need for those again? Toxic or Oh, I forget the eggs we need for Alpha Kibble to make Alpha Kibble. I guess I could check right now. Seems like a relatively safe location. Of course, we do have a level up. I'll, I'll do that here in just a bit. But the Alpha Kibble. Let me see. Alpha Kibble requires Toxic Egg. Okay, so yeah. We are, we are, oh, she's down there. We are slowly getting closer and closer to getting, you know, a toxic uh, creature here in the future, maybe, hopefully, right? Jeez. All I need to do is, like, find a, like, a toxic raptor or something else like that. I'm like, I literally read out the list of it earlier, right? But... Oh, oh, another egg right there. I wonder what it is. But uh, yeah, we're, we're collecting regular eggs right now. Oh, pick up the egg, pick up the egg. Camel so Hey, it was some uh, brown tops egg. Right? Oh, God, the lag, the lag, it's still there. Jeez, there we go. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the conflagrant Rex. I guess we can try and knock that thing out. I don't know if we have any prime meat on us. I guess we'd see. Alpha Therizinosaur. That's a regular Alpha Therizinosaur. I thought it was a... 
thought it was a, like a zombified one, but I guess not. Anyways, I might want to keep that one alive here, just because hey, one out, right? But I also got some comments from you guys saying, hey, can flagrant ankylo. Really, really good. Apparently, it actually smelts metal in its inventory. Oh, that's it over there. Is that a, uh, yep, that's a zombie diplodocus, or, yeah, diplodocus. So I might as well kill that thing. I'm like, it has 75k health. I'm, I'm able to kill, like, pretty quickly, and it's dead. <laughs> Not bragging, but, like, come the heck on, right, golly. What's that over there? You Tyrannus? Ape, oh, Apex. I don't know, I kind of want to, this is a good flagrant rex level 812. I kind of want to keep this thing alive. I kind of want to tame it, you guys. Kind of want to lure it away. Is there anything else around here that's kind of dangerous for it? Kind of, kind of, kind of. I don't think so. I think we're fine right now, so that's good. Take a little bit of a little, little sip of water. Set to passive mode. And let's set you to knockout mode, Hata. Don't die, I'm bleeding. Okay, yeah, I need to watch out for that. Of course, we're adding torpidity to this guy. He's got 298,000 health. So this is, this, this is actually very, very dangerous. And thankfully... Oh my gosh, I'm actually, like, dying right now. Thankfully, our, uh, what do you call it? Our heckin' zombie rex is soaking damage hardcore right now, so... Oh my gosh, I'm still, I'm still soaking. Thankfully, my armor is okay, and there you go, he's knocked out. Thankfully, my armor is pretty good, and it looks like the broken bone thing is about to run out. There you go, that's great. Uh, we picked up some bones, or, uh, geez, eggs there. So that's good, and let's, let's grab some raw prime meat. There you go, raw prime meat right there, that's great. I don't know if we have tame helpers on us anymore. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any right now, man. Let me see. Uh, raw prime meat, 56, raw mutton, 45. Might want to go back to the base, and while we're back there, might want to see if we're able to make any of the, uh, oh, look at that, I healed up all the way, nice. I might want to do, do I want to do, oh, what happened to my helmet? I put my helmet somewhere? I might, I, I was putting my stuff up like I said I was going to do. I don't know if I put my helmet up by, like, accident. I, I just never put it on or anything like that, you know? So I might want to watch out for, for that here, here in the future. Is that the, uh, yeah, this is a glacial woolly rhino, so we don't want that. We want ice. If, we're, if we want, like, a cold elemental critter, we want ice, not glacial, because ice would mean it, like, drops elemental eggs, right? So definitely want those here. Uh, but we do have another Ancient Rex. I'm just going to avoid it for right now. I'm like, we're able to kill it pretty easily. But like, I'm not even going to try and waste my time. And uh, looks like these Zombie Rex actually took some pretty significant damage. Uh, most likely from the, like, Broken Bones, Nashed, whatever that ability was, like, draining its health. I'm like, he did soak up a ton of damage back there. Like, holy heck. Uh, and I don't, th yeah, we don't have any uh, healing th stuff in this inventory because I emptied out his inventory of a bunch of trash. So let's grab some stuff from over here. Uh, let's see if we have any tame. Helpers, we do tame helper down 50. I guess I'll grab those four. Let's grab healing stews. Let's grab a hundred right there. Let's put another hundred right here. I wonder if healing stews work on myself. Kind of want to like maybe fall off the heckin' building or something like that and uh, see if I could heal up that away. But let's see. Did I put my armor up anywhere? Uh, is it like still in the. Oh, yeah, I never, I never grabbed it out of the upgrade station. Okay, okay. I was wondering like what happened to it. Oh, thankfully, I didn't like salvage it right there. Like, golly. What's that over there? What's going on over there? What's that thing? That looks like an Apex Allosaurus. Okay, we're going to have to kill that thing. And we're going to get some Apex blood out of that, too, so that's great. Uh, yeah, definitely need to remember, we'll get one of these. Oh, do we have any eggs here? I think I checked earlier, and I think we might. Yeah, we had we had a Brachiosaurus egg earlier, and we didn't get any more eggs, so that's good. We, it seems like it's working pretty decently, so we're getting some eggs in that regard, so that's awesome. Speaking of eggs, we have Alpha. Now, or we had Apex. Now we have Alpha. Oh, yeah, that gives us an Alpha egg, too. We had uh, Apex, now we have Alpha Indominus Egg. So that's awesome there, you guys. So now we're, we're slowly getting the collection of them. I wonder if there's like a regular Indominus that we can get, you know? That's not like uh, Alpha or Apex or anything like that, you know? That'd be pretty cool, you know, you know, you know? <laughs> just uh, do some healing stews on you, just kind of heal you up. And let's go back to our fridge real quick. Grab some raw mutton or raw prime meat or whatever else. How much mutton do we have? Uh, 92. What about raw prime meat? Yeah, we've got literal thousands. So might as well grab. What do we need, like 50-something? I don't know how much we already have, but I'll just grab 50. Sounds like a pretty good number. I think we're going to be using that rather than the actual uh, raw mutton. Just because, oh gosh, it's happening again. Oh, oh, we're back. <laughs> just because raw mutton, uh, we, don't, we don't have like literal thousands of it or anything like that. Oh, it's, it's dead already. 15 Apex blood. Nice. I should be able to repair my, or, uh, well, yeah, repair, but I don't want to do that. Uh, upgrade my arm. Because didn't we need like literally like two or three drops of uh, Apex blood or whatever earlier? So, yeah, we're able to do that. No problem. Maybe you guys, oh yeah. Now, what is this thing down here? Whatever it was, it just got- Oh, we actually got some, uh, crap and nodules from it, don't waste. What about these creatures? How are they doing knockout-wise? Halfway... And probably down, like, a fifth or something like that, so... I don't think we need to worry about them quite, uh, just yet, but... Let's go back to that conflagrant ring. Do we have a, uh, an empty thing on us? Yes, we have an empty crab pod. Might want to make more, especially because we do have a, uh, a thing right there. A spike rate with laser attachment and Deinonychus saddle. Ah! Uh, I don't think I did say I wanted to tame a Deinonychus, right? So maybe I'll do that, but... Uh, let's see what we're going to do for this upgrade right here. I haven't really done anything for quite a while, so let's 
do I do like health being at 420. It's a pretty blazing amount of health right there, right? But I might I might continue going up towards that 500. It sounds like a pretty good number. You know, 500 health. Of course, we do have a really good armor rating, but of course, after stuff eats through our armor rating, it's going to actually start, you know, damaging our health. So definitely want to have as much health as possible. Similar to this uh, this Rex right here, where it's able to, you know, it's, it's a big buffer before we actually, you know, die. <laughs> Anyways, let's go back to that Conflagrant Rex, see if we can actually, uh, oh, well, he's already knocked out. See if we can actually tame it. Because we do have a lot of, uh, oh, there's that black male Indominus Rex. See if we can uh, find the white female just kind of keep track of where she is. Is that an alpha? It is an alpha Styracosaurus. Although, we did see an alpha u or wasn't it an Apex? I forget. If it's an Apex, I may kill it just to get the Apex blood. Especially if it's going to be coming over here and, you know, killing our, our flagrant Rex. I just don't know where it is. I just kind of want to keep tabs on where it is. There are two creatures over here fighting. I don't know what they are, but I'm going to kill them. Oh, it's a regular there, a sword and an Allosaurus, I think. And a defense unit right here. I shall defend this area from the defense unit. There you go. <laughs> It's dead. Let's get back to the Conflagrant Rex. I think it's still eating the raw prime meat that we gave it. Uh, yep, 14% uh, uh, taming right now, so that's good. So we still have a little bit of raw prime meat on it. And, uh, yeah, we have 56. Then we might be fine. Let's give it some of the tame helpers, though. So there we go. Uh, but yeah, if we, if we come across a Conflagrant uh, uh, Ankylo, that'd be really good. So we'll automatically, like, smelt the stuff. You know, I, I guess uh, that'd be a really cool way of us just kind of getting just anything smelted, I guess, right? So uh, that way we'll have to, like, you know, transfer everything to the forges, you know, Ankylos are good at harvesting metal, so I don't, I don't need to, like, transfer the metal from him to my forges, just keep the metal in his inventory, and by the time we get back home, half of my metal is probably already smelted, right? So, uh, maybe maybe I should have second-guessed killing that conflagrant Ankylo an episode or two ago, right? But, for right now, this guy's at 50%, might want to give him another uh, tame helper. I think we're going to have to give him, like, three in total, so we should have one left over, that should be fine, uh, if you ask me, but it is getting dark out right now, but thankfully... I think we have this one in the bag, you guys. It was kind of dangerous, though. You guys saw how low I was. You guys saw how low my heckin' uh, zombie Rex was. I don't know how much of his damage was actually from the Indominus earlier that he'd never regen. But holy heck, <laughs> we could have died. He could have died. Uh, we, all just for a Conflagrant Rex that has like 60,000 health, right? Sheesh. But this guy's going to be tamed here pretty soon. He's currently at 89%. I may just continue... Yeah, his, his food's already drained. I don't think I need to give him another uh, tame helper. I think I'm just going to keep those right there. Of course, I do need to make more at home that way. Yep, there you go. He's tamed right there. Noise, noise, noise. With four raw primate left over. Nice. All right, let's put him up inside the uh, the grab hot just to make it super easy to transfer him. And then, uh, boom, just load him up inside here. And then maybe off camera, I'll try and make more cryopods. That way we'll always have like five of them in our inventory in case, you know, in case we, uh, what is that right there? I think this is raw primate, right? I don't think it's anything crazy. Let me just see. I do like that the, uh, yeah, it is. I do like the, the Pugnacia mod. It does put, like, a little, little, oh gosh, it's happening again. <laughs> it does put, like, a little, little sign above your, your dead body. Or, like, a, like, a, like a backpack. Yeah, I think it does it for your dead body, too. Like, uh, above your backpack and all that kind of stuff. You know, symbolizing a drop right there. So it's super easy to spot from far away. So that's awesome. And I was just head back to the base. It is getting pretty dark outside. So I may just head back and just kind of do some off. Oh gosh, it's, like, straight up dark now. Holy heck. What's that right there? Is that a gacha crystal? I think it is, because we saw a gacha. Yeah, it is. Because we saw a gacha here earlier, and we're going to anger the gacha, so let's just run away. I don't know where he is, but I think I hear him. So, <laughs> let's get out of here. Let's go back home. What's that thing? Oh, I think it's the Indominus Rex. Yeah, I think that's the uh, the male Indominus over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we have the an ancient Rex. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a fire creature up here. What is this? Conf yes! Conflagrant Ankylo. Awesome. But there's an ancient Rex right here. I shall defend the Ankylo from the ancient Rex. Oh my gosh. Round two billion. Right. Oh gosh. And now there's a rock elemental right here. But there. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> but that uh, that Conflagrant Ankylo is like, uh, what was it? Level 532 or whatever right there? I can't see it right now, but it's got a Charmander tail, which is really cool. Uh, I can't really pick it up on my spyglass right now, but I am continuing to kill this ancient Rex right now, you guys. So, yeah, let me just try and kill this Conflagrant. Oh, oh, oh. Or, uh, let me try and kill this ancient Rex, not the Conflagrant Ankylo. And then, of course, once we have it tamed, I guess uh, a really good way of testing it out is like right here. There's some raw metal right there. We can get some of the raw, or uh, we can harvest some of the raw metal with our brand new Ankylo and hopefully get some uh, pretty good amount of metal from it. So that's going to be awesome. And it's going to hopefully start smelting in his inventory on the way back home. So that's going to be awesome. I don't remember if we have a saddle. I think we do. Might be worth going home and uh, grabbing a saddle before trying to knock out and tame this conflagrant ankle, you guys. And I do wonder, is this thing a, a passive tame? Can we do passive tame to this guy? That'd be pretty interesting, trying to tame a literal fire creature, right? That'd be pretty awesome. But for right now, I've got another heckin' ancient rex to deal with, so let me just pause the recording. I think it's like the third episode in the row. 
where I'm going to like basically end the episode of me fighting an ancient Rex. <laughs> How many times is this going to be like a tradition now, isn't it? Jeez, but I'll see you guys here next episode whenever we try and tame this uh, conflagrant ankylo because I'm pretty sure this is the end of an episode. So I, I might as well do my proper outro now, right? So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That's about my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Arc Valgara where hopefully the second Ancient Rex is going to be dead. And we're going to be able to tame that conflagrant ankylo there in the background. So I'll see you guys here next time with some more Arc Valgaro. Oh, bye there.